Principles of Interpretation of Law Interpretation of Law Legal interpretation refers to the process of understanding and interpreting the meaning and purpose of statutes, regulations, and other laws. It involves analyzing terms used in laws and regulations to determine how they apply to a particular situation or situation. The purpose of interpretation is to reveal the legislative purpose behind the law and to ensure that the law is applied correctly and fairly in practice. Legal interpretation is important because legal texts are often written in broad and abstract terms, and must be applied to many real-world situations. Therefore, judges, lawyers and other legal professionals participate in the translation process to understand the legal language and ensure the validity of the law. Terms and methods of interpretation may vary depending on law, jurisdiction, and specific circumstances. As discussed previously, these concepts provide guidelines for understanding the legislature's intent, considering context, and applying the law to achieve equitable outcomes. Legal interpretation plays an important role in the functioning of the law as it helps bridge the gap between the law and its application in society. Key Points Interpretation of the law There are various principles used to understand and apply the meaning of laws and regulations. These principles help ensure fairness, justice and the rule of law. Some important aspects of translation are 1. Literal rule The literal rule states that the words of a law must have a simple, common sense and meaning. This approach assumes that legislators choose their words carefully and that the true intent of the law can be found in the text itself. However, if the message is not clear or up-to-date, it can lead to negative consequences. Example, if a statute states that no vehicles are allowed in the park, the literal rule would prohibit all types of vehicles, including bicycles and scooters. 2. Golden Rule The golden rule allows deviation from meaning if it is unreasonable or unreasonable. It allows courts to slightly modify the interpretation to avoid adverse consequences. This rule is generally used sparingly to avoid overjudgment. Example, if a statute prohibits carrying firearms in a public place, but a strict interpretation would criminalize carrying unloaded antique firearms for historical reenactments. The golden rule may be applied to exclude such cases. 3. Mischief Rule Non-criminal law involves determining the problem or of crime that the law is intended to address. Courts then interpret the law to correct or solve the problem, even if that means going out of context. This method is designed to achieve the main purpose of the law. Example, if a statute is enacted to curb noise pollution and simply states loud noises are prohibited, the mischief rule may be used to interpret the types of noises that contribute to the identified problem. For Purposive Interpretation Purposive interpretation focuses on the underlying purpose or intentionality behind the law. Courts look beyond language and consider the law, the social context and the overall purpose of the law. This approach allows for more flexible changes consistent with policy objectives. 5. Teleological approach Similar to the definition, the teleological approach also emphasizes the overall purpose or objectives. It takes into account the social context, the benefits of the right to seek support and the general health of the community. 
This approach aims to achieve the best results as the ultimate goal of the policy. 6. Conceptual Interpretation Contextual interpretation involves the analysis of law in the context of statutes, entire legal systems, and general legal systems. It aims to be coherent and consistent in its interpretation of the law, taking into account how the law differs. 7. Law of Adjustum Generis Law of adjustum generis is used when the general meaning follows the specific meaning of the law. He said that general terms should be defined to include only things that are the same as specific names. Example, in a statute listing cars, motorcycles, bicycles, and other vehicles, the general term vehicles would be interpreted to include only modes of transportation similar to cars, motorcycles, and bicycles. 8. Nositor Associus Rule The Nositor Associus Rule states that the meaning of a word is affected by the words around it. It means known by colleagues. Words are interpreted according to the context in which they appear preventing them from straying out of context. 9. Harmony Building Harmony building encourages courts to interpret different provisions of the law to avoid conflicts and ensure harmony. This principle ensures that legal sentences work well together in situations where more than one claim can be understood together, without difficulty. 10. Expressio unius estate exclusio ulterius. This Latin expression means the expression of one is the exclusion of the other. This means that although the Constitution is clear on certain issues, other issues that are not addressed will be deliberately excluded. This is a method which means that the purpose of the legislation is to limit the limitation to what is specified. Example, if a statute prohibits the use of dogs, cats, and birds in a public space, the expressio unius principle suggests that other types of animals are implicitly allowed. Conclusion The art of interpreting law is a complex endeavor that bridges the gap between the written word and its literal meaning. Global Application Interpretation principles and methods are guiding to ensure that laws are understood in accordance with their intent and purpose. Law, golden rule, moral law, administrative law, etc. Although different concepts such as these reveal different views, they together emphasize that the law should be followed with justice and health. The interplay of literary analysis, legislation, and situational awareness allows legal experts to explore complexities and make fair decisions. The importance of interpretation is not only to interpret the law, but also to preserve the content of the law. It becomes a sign of justice, order, and protection. By carefully following these principles, the legal system can promote trust, consistency, and the pursuit of justice for all.